Hey Leo, I hope you're all having an amazing weekend. This is going to be a love reading. We're going to see <clears throat> what messages need to come out. Who needs to hear it the most? Always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. And this month I'm giving away two 15 to 30 minute readings. So for those of you that are new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I do monthly giveaways. Um, and there, it's never just one free reading. So there's always two or more that I offer in a month. You just need to be a subscriber and leave a Zodiac emoji in the comment section of every reading that you view of mine during the month of May. So leave your, your rising Zodiac if you would like, your moon sign, your sun sign, your Venus sign, maybe someone you're thinking about. But leave a zodiac emoji in the comment section letting me know you're interested do that with every reading that you view of mine during this month and at the end of the month i will remind you to pay attention to your notifications because i will randomly choose two people and reach out to you through youtube initially all right let's see getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I feel like there's a need to stay optimistic about the person that you may be thinking about. This also could be brand new love coming into your life. And you'll be getting to know someone very soon. We'll see. For my Leo's. luck card of 19 10 you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead with that being a 10 i do feel that any hard endings that you've been through any upheavals things that you weren't expecting i really feel like it's to bring you to exactly where you know towards the person that you're meant to be with I also there could be somebody with like the month of March. So you could be dealing with like a Pisces or later in the month of March. I'm just getting like St. Patty's Day. Four leaf clover. Maybe you last spoke to somebody or met them in March or their birthday's in March. I don't know. Let's see what oh no one wanted to, both of them did. Okay, we'll take both. We have, they are something better. And notice how this angel wants to hand you all those blessings. And yes, amazing. Spirit is saying yes. If you were thinking about someone specific or you had, or you were looking for an answer, the answer is yes. current situation past energy and the future okay bottom of the deck ten of chalices so I feel that there was a relationship here a commitment or that you see long term with this person could be a water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio but it's like you're ready for a commitment you're ready to be with someone where they appreciate you where they see your worth where they see all the amazing things that you're ready to do within a relationship where they're ready to take that leap of faith and jump all in with you I definitely feel like you're in a very good energy with the Empress here. You may have strong air in your chart, specifically Libra, or you could be dealing with a Libra. Um, 
but I feel like you only have eyes for one person. Like you're very, you just love the energy about this person. I feel like you're definitely on point with your energy. But I feel a soul tie between you and this person. And I feel like you only have eyes for them. Their energy is the hanged man. So there is a pause here. There is a disconnect. Like waiting for the light at the end of the tunnel. But what I love about the hanged man is it's not the Ten of Swords, Leo. So there is still room to be hopeful, to be optimistic. I do feel a light bulb that's going to go off in this person's mind. Like that aha moment. Seeing things from a different perspective. The current energy is the Seven of Pentacles. So you've, you've already done the work. Leo, you've planted the seeds. And I do feel like there's going to be growth with this person. I definitely feel heartbreak. Now, you may have found out that this person had someone else because the Three of Swords has shown up. So you may have found out that there was someone else. But I feel, and that's, that's only for a few of you, I feel heartbreak, pain. And I feel like you, there's growth that you want to happen within this connection. In the past, energy is the Eight of Pentacles. So your person might have needed to work on, you know, themselves. They might have been really good at something. They might have had their own small business or a business of their own. And they really needed to put a lot of time into work. But I also am getting the energy like they didn't know what they had until it was gone. I feel like you were very dedicated to this person. You doted on them. You know, you let them know how you felt. You did great things for them. You know, heartfelt things for them. And you see how like this person has a rose and he's trying to rub her legs. And it's like she's got her coffee and her focus is somewhere else. And he's like, but I'm right here. So I feel like you showed up. And it's like they just weren't, they weren't getting what you were putting down for some reason. And we'll get into that. Let's see. the ten of swords this could have been pain that your person felt in other relationships and other experiences in their life they could have been in process of a transformation and closing out cycles of their own all right spirit please clear. okay the high priestess yeah you went silent on them you stayed in your power. I do feel like you find them very sexy, very, like, very intriguing. And if for some of you, as quickly as it was on, is as quickly as it might have been over. It might have went too fast. Like in the very beginning, you might have rushed into things and it fizzled out very fast. But I feel like you went silent on them. You stayed in your power. But you're definitely attracted to them. All right, spirit. Let's see what else. Look at this. I knew that there was a soul tie here. I was feeling this. With the Empress showing up, I'm feeling a soul tie here. All right. And why the hind man? Spirit. Thank you. Four of Wands. Yeah, I think they were lacking stability. They need to focus on themselves. I'm just going to put it out there for a few of you. You might have met them at a time where they were already in a relationship. And they were going through that. 
You might have met them at a time where they could have been married or just had someone else on the side. And that's what caused the breakup, the heartbreak. But the two of you are definitely connected on a soul level. Why is in the past Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, you felt stuck. I don't feel like they were giving you much time. It's like their focus was somewhere else. They could have had a lot of drama in their life that they needed to sort through. But it's like they were, they themselves was at a crossroads, which in, like it unintentionally brought drama into your life and put that pause between the two of you. And why the Seven of Pentacles for the current situation? All right, for some of you, I said air. I feel for others could be earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But Leo, I got to say, I really feel like you're just focusing on you, your finances, your stability, what makes you happy. It's like you're tired of the uphill struggle within, within relationships. You just want to get to the peak of the mountain with the person you're meant to be with. And why the Three of Swords, Spirit? Why the Three of Swords? Yeah, I really feel for some of you, a third party is going to get hurt. They're like walking away from the person that they're currently with to be with you. Where they might have been self-centered, where it may have seemed that they were very controlling and they were only focused on their goals and what path that they were on. It's like that light bulb has gone off. All right, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, the Empress twice. Why is the Empress here twice, Spirit? In Leo's reading, why is the Empress here twice? With the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords, there might have been another party, Leo. And it's definitely somebody from the past that you know. But I really, for those of you that are interested in hearing what they have to say, I they're, they're definitely coming towards you. With the Hermit here, they've done some soul searching. And they're taking that leap of faith towards you. I really feel that now they realize how much they care or how much they miss you and they want to express that to you. You felt like home to them. Yeah, I felt at the time they didn't know what they wanted. I feel like they lack direction. No need to worry though. All right, and anything else from the stars are aligning for us. It's weird that the Wheel of Fortune didn't come out because I'm, 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 I'm feeling that. For Leo and your person spirit. Yeah, see, I'm going through a dark night of the soul. Nothing in my life is making sense. They were looking for that light at the end of the tunnel. We have, I know this is more than a relationship and that there is a higher purpose to our connection. There so is. I feel like you both know that there's past life experiences with one another. Our mission is to be unconditional love. Clearing our programming is a necessary part of opening our hearts. Clearing the way they reacted and responded to things. The emotional baggage that they carried with them. The triggering energy. 
It's like they're starting, they were starting from scratch and went through a transformation to come to you. Well, not just to come to you. I feel like they were doing it for themselves. Neither one of us is being honest right now. Why are we afraid to express ourselves? Leo, you could have been going through your own issues too when you were dealing with this person. You know, I always say there are two people to every situation. So when people say, you know, it was all them. No, it wasn't. You just got to see that because it wasn't. All right, let's see what else. We have, yeah, see, moving towards the future. It's like the energy of them coming towards you for you to, for you to notice how far they've come. You could be at a distance from this person. With the fish here, there could be like a, you know, a large body of water, um, a river, a lake, an ocean between the two of you. But I also am feeling like one of you may have your own side business. I just feel a lot of stability and it's very, like it's very prosperous. Right, anything else? Probably like a nervous energy too. Yeah, look, they want a brand new beginning with you. For some of you that are in like childbearing um, stages and want that, be careful because the two of you might come together and not leave the bedroom and then procreate because that's another, I see three bunnies there. Not two, but three. We have P, S, E, A, I, U, H, R, W, T and then O. All right, Leo, let me know how it resonates. Leave that zodiac emoji down below in the comment section. I do wish you the best of luck. They may not have been picking up what you were putting down the first time, but they now know that there's a soul attached, the, a soul tie here, and they are returning. I hope you have an amazing weekend. My Etsy shop is reopened for those of you that are interested in me tuning in to just your energy. And I will be back for many more readings. Love and light.